Hello all. In this short video, I am going to discuss a very very important concept of rough and finish machining time in milling. These type of question appears in many competitive examinations including gate, IES and all that even civil services means and sometimes we are confused that what length of cut we should take to calculate the machining time. So let us discuss little bit. It's a very short video. See there are two types of cut. One is called rough cut. Uh, and another is a finish cut. Rough cut and finish cut. In the rough cut, we are not worried about, see very, very carefully. In rough cut, we are not worried about the surface finish. So as soon as the machining is over, I would like to withdraw my cutter. Quite possible at the time of withdrawing, cutter may be in contact with the work. So when we are withdrawing the cutter, surface finish will be spoiled. But anyway, we are not worried about the surface finish. We just want to do machining. Our my finish cut will be the last cut. So as soon as the machining is over, I would like to withdraw my cutter. So machining time will be less. Now finish cut is, finish cut is, at the end of cut, cutter should be completely out of the work. At the time of withdrawing the cutter, it should be completely out of the work. That is called finish cut. In other words, when the numerical value of approach and overrun are given to you, numer let us say we say 5 millimeter approach and the 5 millimeter overrun. Once again, there are multiple variables and I discuss a lot of variations in the class. If numerical value of approach and overrun are given to you, it means it's a finish cut. Quite possible that they say they are, they are not giving the numerical value of approach and overrun. They say approach and overrun are same. It means still it is a rough cut, but we just want to make sure that machining is over at the extreme end. So when the numerical value of approach and overrun are given to you, it is a finished cut. Let us see some of the example. Suppose if it is a face milling operation, Suppose if it is a face milling operation, this is the center line and I am talking about the rough cut now. Here is a cutter, D is the diameter of cutter and let us say L is the length of work. I am talking about the face milling. So machining time is nothing but L by Fn for everything L by Fn. So when the length of cut L is known, everything is all right. So when the cutter moves L distance, what is the position of cutter? When the cutter moves L distance, what is the position of cutter? This is the position of cutter. After moving L, still this much material is not machined. So machining is not complete. So what we have to do, what we have to do, we need to move the cutter this much distance more to make sure the cutting is complete and this X is nothing but same this X, same this X. And whatever, whoever teacher is teaching you, they do elaborately. Some teachers call it a compulsory approach. No problem. It is not a technical, but it's okay. Some teacher calls it as a compulsory approach. So now my length of cut will be L plus X. It is a rough cutting operation. We just want to make sure that the machining is over. Okay, na? now for this was the face milling. Now let us see the slam milling operation. In the slam milling operation, in the slam milling operation, let us say, I want 
to cut this much distance d depth of cut so again here is a cutter and let us say l is the length of cutter length of the work so after exactly l distance with a feed position of cutter will be like this still this much material is not machine so we have to move x and that that becomes the length of cut and some teacher calls it a compulsory approach no problem okay no, no problem we can call it so they go here here this x same x na? And we know how to calculate this thing. Every teacher teaches, even my class or whoever it is there. Okay, now they teach how to calculate this x. <sighs> All right. But now, if it is a finished cut, in the slab analysis, if it is a finished cut, in the slab analysis, if it is a finished cut, you know what we will take. My cutter should be completely out. My cutter should be completely out. Like this. This is the numerical value. Let us say over on 5. <coughs> over on 5. And your cutter is here, let us say, starting from here. Okay, so now, see this point. No, no, actually, here we also, the approach is given. Approach is also given here. So, let us say, now I am referring to gate. 2020 question it's a slab milling operation over run 5 millimeter and approach 5 millimeter is given to you approach and over run 5 millimeter are given to you this is the meaning of approach and over run now this is the meaning of approach and over run x so now question comes what will be the length of cut because once the length of cut is known, machining time will be L by Fn. So how to calculate the length of cut? See here, this point, let us again draw the, take the different color. This point P, this point P, should appear here. This point P should appear here. So, so this is the length of cut now. This is the length of cut. Okay. So the P should appear here. So what I will do? Anyway, because this one that because I have put this point will be same here. So L approach plus overrun, approach plus overrun, and this point is supposed to appear here. So same way, this is X, this is X. It will be two X, <laughs> not X. It will be two X because the, this point has to appear here. This point has to appear here. So cutter should be completely out. So now, in this question, x comes out to be 21.78 something. So if you put everything in place, machining time will be 8. IIT gives the answer 7 to 9. IIT gives the answer 7 to 9 because IIT's answers are always in the middle. Suppose somebody do the mistake here and there, so answer should be in the range. So 
it is exactly eight minute if you do by that way so we have so we have to understand that if the numerical value of overrun is given to you overrun is given to you it means it's a finish cut same thing we can do for face milling operation see the face milling operation what exactly happens face milling if the numerical value of approach and overrun are given to you this is the cutter and the cutter should be completely out cutter should be completely out now this is the approach this is the overrun so how do i how will i calculate the length of cut this point p should appear here this point p should appear here so approach plus a length of work plus overrun plus the diameter here we will add diameter in the gate 2020 problem if we said 2x it approximately comes out to be the radius of the cutter so that is the way to handle all these questions always remember when the numerical value of approach and overrun are given to you it means cutter is completely out cutter is completely out now if you say only x like in the gate 2020 problem if you say if you add only x let us say for example length of cut is l plus 5 plus 5 plus x if you do that you know what will happen what will happen even though there is a overrun of 5 uh, cutter position will be somewhere here like this see this may be 5 but still cutter is in contact with the work so when you withdraw surface finish is going to be spoiled so of course in gate 2020 problem there were five cuts so whatever time comes out you have to multiply by five so if there is any question let me know i will be happy to help you all out thank you very much